Hello, Capricorn. You guys had a lot of y'all. Come here. Here's the first one, so you're the main winner. Hooray! This is going to be Thunderdome reading. Capricorns, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If it resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Thunderdome is where I read for two people, y'all. So it'll be you and whoever it is you're dealing with, or it could deal with like two people who are involved in your life somehow. It could be your dog and your iguana. It could be like this thing in the bottom of your pond that looks like a fish, but you're not sure. But it might, might just be uh, like uh, a frog. It, it could be anything. It, it, like whatever you want to resonate with it, really. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. So anyway, let's see what you and your person are up to. Remember, kids. If you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all down below. I prefer my email because it helps me keep track easier, but whatever way you want to do is up to you. Uh, first reading is on the house. Everything else comes with a price, and I do take tips and donations. Page of Wands, reverse. Running in and doing some cursing. Because someone is too chicken shit to go out. <laughs> what? Okay. So maybe this page of wands is a bit stagnant because they're too scared to take that leap forward. They're still looking this way like, what the hell is going to happen with a group one of queerants, right? The wants and wish right here. Mind you, this is the situation. Not taking the leap of faith. Um, not possibly getting a clean slate as well. Could be someone just doesn't want to start something new either, or they're scared to, I feel like. Not sure about this guy, though. He could be a, um, Leo Sag Aries, though. We got the Six of Wands Reverse. Enemy in the house, or feeling like there's no victory somewhere. Or people are coming against them. What? <laughs> okay. Their obstacle and challenge is the devil sneaking away, Caps. The actual fuck, you know? Like, why is that a problem? I'm just trying to go somewhere. So they're scared of chasing the devil as he's trying to escape, but he wants to go, but he feels like he's not going to have a victory in this. Um, his fears and rejections, um, tapping his resources one last time. He doesn't know if he's going to bleed to death, but it doesn't look like he is, if he will. Hmm, interesting querent. Oh, wow. Death. Something's going to end. That's how it started. And that's how it's going to end is with the end. Um, killing something old so something new can begin. Capricorns, you might be trying to run to end this shit. Get away from this person who isn't even coming towards you, but watches you with their back turned and they kind of want to run in all hasty like i don't know if this is you cats but it's just like whatever i'm just talking right cross watchers switch where necessary and remember take whatever resonates with a grain of salt not everything is going to be coherent in the way you think think of it just as like plinko certain things hit certain like Plinko stick things that are in the thing while the ball's going down. I should find a picture of that so I don't sound like I'm fucking insane. You know? Oh well. Lisa, I will get to you in a second, my boo. Alright, beginning theme. Ooh. Four of Wands. Someone's thinking of a partnership or an open door, right? Or maybe they're trying to open the door. It could be with two people. Um, it could be a marriage, a commitment of some sort to each other, a relationship, but it doesn't really have to be. It's almost like kind of the opportunities that come with um, pairing up with somebody as well, I think. I think that's just what I'm coming up with. Like, honestly, like I've never really, like when I was younger and started tarot, I did read the books. But after I got, like, the basic idea of them, it was just like, you know, it's just easier to wing it, because I'm not going to remember any of this shit. <laughs> like, like, but, like, thank God they got pictures, because uh, I would be terrible 
I'm trying to remember them just from like numbers or images of stuff that's symbolic to them. Like I like the Labyrinth Tarot deck. I used to love that deck, but I tried using them the like not last month, but the month before, and it just it didn't work because I couldn't see what they actually meant. If you've ever seen that deck, you know, you know exactly what I mean. All right, so this page of wands, right? They're in a never-ending cycle. It's looping. There's just a kaka in the kinks, and it just keeps going around in a circle instead of moving to the next sector. And they're trying to run. Now, the page of wands, I usually like to say they got a mouth. This one's just a mischievous, sneaky little fuck, right? He's going through the water because he knows people won't hear him as much in the water. Or it's easier to get around people so they can't, um... So, uh, kind of like flanking, right? They're in a never-ending cycle of trying to move the calmer waters? Is this, like, this person's got problems, yeah. They're very impulsive. I don't think they really think. Now, this fool down here in this situation, someone doesn't feel like their emotional selves. They might be out of whack a bit. They probably feel like, you know, they gotta do more for themselves. Because, okay, like, this part... Uh, group one? You're kind of Jake. We're going down the route where I'm gonna call everybody Jake again, aren't we? I think we are. I think we might be doing that. Huh. I have to read that. Ugh. Like, I love her, I really do. <laughs> I'm just not used to people texting and shit, really. Well, she's not even texting, just messenger. Let's see. Six of Wands, reverse. Why does someone want the- what the fuck? Okay. It's almost like they failed at being that. Uh, uh, what? 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 Okay, hold up, hold up, <laughs> cause I am just. What am I? What do you mean? Some boat done sailed, huh? Like what? Group one, you're coming off pretty Jake right now. You're coming off, as the Trailer Park Boys would say, pretty greasy. It's looking really fucky right now, you know? Like, okay. A group of people coming against one person, but it's replicated again, but in a completely different meaning. This is like... Trying to have a bunch of people against somebody. This is like failure to do so. Failure at a victory. Failure at infiltrating something because the boat was missed. And I think it's because this person didn't move forward or take that leap of faith like they should have. It's almost like... I don't know, there was like some sort of plan, I think. Or, I don't know. It seems like it's pre It feels a little bit premeditated. Like, they feel like they're stuck in a loop trying to get to calmer waters, but... I don't know, they're like running over here. Oh god, we got a book and it's pretty thick, y'all. Almost as half as thick as my dick. That was from Helsing Bridge. You should watch that shit. Okay. Seven of swords wanting to steal away and leave that skull there. He's just like, yeah, you're dead. I don't need to take care of you anymore. Right? Um, but wondering where somebody went to. Like some secrets got out, which caused someone to flee in the opposite direction. Realizing that um, maybe they were putting some shit off for way too long. 
They feel a little bit like this franchise. Maybe they feel like somebody owes them something with the King of Pentacles. Maybe they feel like they weren't supposed to be the ones to do the work either. And now they're just all in their feelings about it. Being a brat, probably exploding, probably like like at the most throwing shit and saying explicitives that are not allowed on cable television at this point. And probably YouTube, but you know, reviews and such. Because I say fuck too much. But this person's saying it a lot because they're mad because they didn't get the control that they want. They feel like they didn't wait for something that was valuable or that they should have like cut it off because it was a waste of time. Knock that stuff off because, you know, it was the right thing to do after all. So that's pretty interesting. Are they moving the lawn again? I didn't think that. Well, no, yeah, they have to be. It's just long as fuck. I love my landlord, man. He salts our road which is up on a steep ass hill and he cuts the grass he's a handyman i love him at some point we're gonna have to move all right the obstacle and challenge with this person the devil is sneaking away which i i don't know why it would be considered sneaking away like this person's like um group one this individual right here this querent is um not going towards the devil but they're keeping their eye on them watching them sneak away Queen of Cups, Pipe Dream, or a fantasy of the self. Like, this bitch is going away too. Um, what? Or this Queen of Cups, could be a um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, is hoping with her emotions or, or whatever she's feeling, or her eyes closed, I really can't tell. I think they're open, but anyway, like, it's like she's, it's almost like she's holding her emotions in. Dreams of, like, going somewhere, or she's trying to summon this devil back, so she doesn't have to, um, go forward to her, or him, or whoever. Um, either that, or, like, this devil possibly you capricorn is trying to sneak away to this cancer or pisces scorpio this queen of cups because that's who you dream of and that might be the person who's not coming forward now i think it's the same person but you know the seven of pentacles La, 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 la. Let's see. Someone has a fear or a rejection of trying to tap into resources, use their alchemy or magic, right? Because it's like there was no battle to fight because nobody was fighting it. So it was just kind of like there's not even a default win in it. It doesn't even count. It's like, no, you do it the right way. <laughs> you don't get rewarded. Um, there, was no, there was nobody to fight because the person, I guess, walked away. Was just like, fuck this shit, I'm out. And now this person's over here. Like, this person, like, had to get up at first, and then the other person left. So now, they're kind of scared to tap into their resources or whatever, or try to do whatever. I don't know. It almost feels like they're, um... It almost feels like... They are... Like, like, it is, um, like, stretched thin. Stretched thin, broke, and, like, getting by, all right? But it's like, how much money can you spend before you start, you know, like, um, bleeding yourself dry financially? I, I like, I almost feel like that. It's like, they want to put in the resources to, like, Go into a battle that's not going to be fought because the other person walked away. Now, what's going to die? Well, there we go. All of this betrayal and shit, right? Something's gonna die in a betrayal. This is what starts it and this is how it will end. How it, the whole thing comes full circle. King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Is a fire sign going to feel betrayed right here? I 
Okay, so this one's really interesting, right? Someone wants to ride in with a cup of love, and I feel like it, this is a trap. I feel like this is a fucking trap to somebody who has their back turned to the situation. This person almost wants to ride in. This querent does, right? Acting like they lost the battle, but with this card, what it looks like this for me, with this dude right here, it's like this person thought that they beat this other person, but they were wrong because they get back up and they do so much better, right? But not in this case. It's like this person is like pretending that they're surrendering to this person only to try to spring something up, I feel like, later. Because this person over here who actually did best them for a second has their back turned or not. Like it's going to be a surprise or something, right? Are these fire? Like, not. Well, I mean, the Empress could be, but I don't think so. Hmm. This is an interesting group one. Some of y'all might be dealing with a psycho. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Let's see. But yeah, death the shit. I can't tell if this person is going to cause the betrayal to happen in order to exert their rule, or if this King of Wands is going to be betrayed. Or he's just a traitor in general. Like, because this is like a person crushing something in order to start something new, and it's like establishing your reign, you know? So it's like... I don't like this person. The truth! The truth is... Is that there's an open door. Okay? That makes sense. That, that, not really. <laughs> it's like they have an idea about opening the door. Or, or they have an idea about trying to get this door to open so they can get in this partnership, right? Because I did talk about partnership right here. I, dudes, I think this is a trap. Group one. I'm just putting that out there. I think this is a trap with this querent. Yeah, they ain't offering shit. If it is, it's shit. They're offering the sh just bad stuff. Acting like they want to reason the stick around. Right? Like, it'd be like, this is the truth, baby. I do want you. And I think they do want you. I think they do want you, a group one. Or this is you. One of the two. Uh, they will reveal that they've been burdened. And how they have faced bad karma. But at the same time, I feel like that's a lie, too. Like, they are coming out with truth about how they've been burdened and how they want to stick around. But they're giving the bare minimum. And right here is the justice. And I would say injustice. And lying to get somebody to manipulate it to do something you want them to do. Um, yeah, that's injustice to me. Because that's not cool. Like, if you're going to come, come correct. Like, don't lie to my fucking face. Um, they feel burdened and... Mm, Ten of Swords again. They feel betrayed. And I feel like they want to pay back that favor, you know? Ooh, we got a book real quick. Yeah, they feel like they want to express that the world's topsy turvy, but I feel like they, group one, they want to turn the world upside down on you. Um... Okay. Oh, yeah, they want to flip the script on you. They want to send, like, they want to do to you, I feel like, they want to do to you what they feel like you did to them? Is that what I'm fucking saying? Because look, like, the world's still flipped over, but this time they're by themselves, being cool with their funds, even though they're kind of sucking the resources dry, walking away, but really not making any sort of choice or option in this picture. It's almost like they want to come back to be like, oh, I love you and I miss you, and then like just dump you right there on the floor, just be like, fuck you, <laughs> you sack of shit. <laughs> like, how dare you, or whatever, right? Oh, group one, how interesting. Ah, yeah, they're, they're still gonna be talking shit. Look at him. Sneaky McSneakers, and he's got him on the other side. Wow. Okay, so this is the other side. And they are doing... Dude, they're looking over here. They want to know that door is open. So they can fuck it up. Like, it's like they figured... Oh, okay. It's like they figured out they come with the truth?
it might open the door. But lo and behold, peasants. <laughs> They're too impatient with trying to get that booty call and it doesn't work. <clears throat> like he was the first, very first fucking car in here. So whoop, he came all the way around here. Still talking some shit about how things went down. Trying to sneak in and infiltrate and yet it didn't succeed. They were too much in a rush to get that shit going so they can get that betrayal down, right? Like they give themselves away. Honestly, like it's like the truth came in when they were trying to get through this door, but you know That's yours group one. So we're gonna move on to group two. Yes kids. This is long Well, I don't know how long but it's gonna be long enough <laughs> Group two be prepared because I'll call you out for your Jake shit, too <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck like everyone's like everyone's a sinner Myself included. Let's just tell stories of our sins to each other, shall we? Yes. Yeah, that was a smooth way of, of being like, let's be nosy. Huh. I'm good at that. <laughs> let's see. Ah! Okay. Group two! Ten of Cubs right here. Happily ever after, right? Yet the situation is someone doesn't feel complete. I want and wish about being left out in the cold under obstacle and challenge right now is the King of Pentacles. He's just like, hey, I got the Tenth Pentacle, but uh, you're going to owe me a little bit, right? Then we have the Ace of Cups over here in the reverse. Something about a new beginning not starting or maybe not an apology being given or some shit, right? Ooh. Five of Wands in the beginning theme is the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Could be Capricorn. Um, this is someone who, um, usually when she's upright, you know, she's a Karen. Like, you know, nobody gives a fuck about Karen, but Karen cares about Karen, and Karen gets shit done. Uh, no joke, dude. I once met a Karen Scorpio cusp. <laughs> Hell of a combination, man. But yeah, but Karen's reversed here. So this version of Karen, she's too busy making her pentacle to notice that she's like letting people down all around her. Like all these people look exhausted. Like, you know, hey, mom, can you make me a sandwich? Shut up. I need to make this report. You can wait like 50 minutes. You, did you say 15 or 50? Uh, you know, you heard what I said. Young, strapping, like, circle guy. <laughs> you know? Like, this is somebody who kind of neglects the people around them. Because it's easier than trying to focus on the things that matter. Like, normally, the Queen of Pentacles is a little bit more, um... She knows better than that. She usually knows better, but this bitch is just like, it doesn't give a fuck. She's got her back turned to this Ace of Cups, and I feel like it's like she wants this happily ever after, but she's too much in herself. And then we got the King of Pentacles down here, who's acting like, you know, hey, you owe me, but it could actually be the same person. Capricorns, this could definitely be you. Crosswatchers, this could be you. Everybody decide who's the asshole, and we'll go from here. Right, right. Oh, I don't know why I'm shuffling this deck. This is the wrong one. God damn it. I do that all the fucking time. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you think I would know better? Okay. Quick shuffle and then we'll begin, right? Right. Alright. Ten of a cups right here. How many have after? People got kids. They're married. They're happy. It's old and it's over. There might have been a happy family, but like everybody split. Just Lack of con inconsistencies. Yeah, they got on the boat and they went wherever the hell home is going to be now. Like, just left that shit. But the situation is, this person doesn't feel like they have an identity now. Like, I don't know. It's kind of like enmeshment with, like, BPD. It's like, um... It's a dangerous thing because, like, it's almost like trying to become, like, the other person. And somebody with BPD has to avoid doing that because you really do steal the traits of other people. Not that you mean to. It's just it's a it's just an emulation thing. It's a way of making yourself kind of fit in 
when you don't, but if you get like, if you actually try to look at yourself sometimes, just being like, hey, why am I acting this way? What is this reaction for? Or let me try, like you have to be really mindful with yourself and understand what you're doing. Like you have to ask yourself questions all the time about what it is you're doing and why you're doing it because it's so easy to um, kind of get lost in who you thought you were or who you believe you are because that's tricky. Aww. They want that ten pentacles. They want to grow old and have their dog. That's the situation. Someone just doesn't feel it. And they're waiting for the good shit to come. Right? Five of pentacles. Someone's want and wish in regards to being left out in the cold. They feel like they're being held hostage, but not really. They feel like people are holding them back. But not really. Like, once again, like, like disregarding their part when it comes to other people. Almost feeling like people are, like, standing in their way or surrounding them and being annoying about it, you know? Kind of like the Queen of Pentacles over here. No, acting like people are causing this burden more than anything, but that's like a, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> that's a bold-faced lie, and it's like, it's going to be presented in their face. It's almost like, you know, um, people weren't the problem your attitude was kind of thing, you know? Like, that's what I would say in regards. I'm sorry if I'm being a little harsh, but, you know, sometimes, you know, you just need to get punched right hard in the face with the truth before, like, you finally accept your part and stuff. You know, like, uh, like the Queen of Pentacles over here is neglecting people. But then using people as an excuse for the holdup, and, and then it's just like once nobody's there, it's like, oh, nobody's there because... I put myself here. King of Pentacles reversed, right? As I said before, Capricorn, this could be you. And you might be a little bit smug. You might feel like you're owed something, since this is the King of Pentacles, like debt collector and shit like that. Being kind of bossy, thinking that people should be giving to you rather than you giving to them. Um, you're trying to see the light of day in yourself. Like, you're trying to get out of this miserly thing, I think. If not, this could be the cross-watcher right here. Like, they are finally looking at their devil-like actions and being like, Oh, shit, I was a total fucking asshole. You know, but that requires them actually looking in the light, not squinting their eyes. <laughs> like they're staring at the sun or something. And actually take action about it. Like, move forward to actually do something. Stop feeling disempowered. And just make something that makes you powerful. Like, fuck it. What's the worst I can do? I mean, at least you got the night. You know you can get ass if you want to. You know, as long as you don't f entirely fuck it up or say the wrong thing or do something stupid. You know? Oh, so group one might feel... Let down. Disappointed. Ah, uh, betrayed, betrayed, betrayed. Yeah, they they feel hurt by you, Capricorn. That's why someone's in their. That's why someone was in their feelings about you. Okay, now I gotcha. And you, the, you might be getting your karma from Group One. Okay, I'll stop talking now. I'm sorry, cards. Jesus. Now, you're acting like you're ready to fight to the death, right? However, you're trying to fight the Ace of Cups right now. Um, that's probably not the best choice, and you kind of come raggedy out of it realizing that shit. All the way over here when you get left out in the cold, possibly, somehow. If not, this is somebody around you. Ooh, you know, like... A love relationship didn't seem the way it was, so someone kept their guard up so much that they got thrown the fuck out. You know? Huh. The person inside almost looks like they're tortured because they got constantly tempted out. Making them feel like this wish wasn't anything good at all. This is an interesting one. Like, I don't know which one is you, Capricorn. 
But it's still really interesting to, to like at least picture both sides of it. Because, you know. Now let the power. Oh my god, okay. I'll lay these four down. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. This five of wands here. Everybody's fighting, but no one's going for the goal. And because of that, some harsh judgment goes around that um, pretty much makes everything happen with a quickness, right? Now, someone gets nettled in their feelings. It could be that water sign that was in group one, right? But this is the counterpart, so who knows? But someone's in the dark about how pissed they are. And they come bearing greetings. But are they trustworthy <laughs> greetings? Mmm. <laughs> talk about betrayal for August. Well, eh. Fuck it. We all face betrayal at some point. It's just fucked up when it happens, because it's always from the people we're supposed to be able to trust. Or at least that's what society tells us. Society tends to lie, though. Capricorn, you're probably not delivering anything, or this is this person deciding that they don't want to try to deliver anything. Because um, they're too busy trying to ignore the fact that they're still sorrowful over this three of cup situation. Um, or it's you feeling a bit betrayed as well. Um, bad judgment call or something not being resurrected right here. <clears throat> still feeling left out in the cold. But that was what somebody wished for. So the actual fuck, you know. They're left out in the cold. Two people are left out in the cold. And one is uh, more of a liability than the other. The other one would have to take care of them. While dragging around this dude who needs a bell around his neck because he's, he's kind of dumb. And, and not in the mean way, but in, like, the entire, like, kind of handicapped in all ways, ways. Like, he'll go in a ditch if you let him steer to the left just a little bit. This is what somebody wished for. And that is the truth. Right? Right. Now, this is burdensome, yes. Like, someone definitely knows that they're burdened with it. Um, when which fighting ensues, they are definitely not for all the battles and shit. They just want to chill. But then we got their counterpart being all like, you know, I'm not even, I don't want to look at you. I don't want to look at you. Like, someone's perfectly fine. <laughs> like, uh, like, what? Okay. Someone explodes when the truth comes out. Like, this is a couple. <laughs> this is definitely a couple. And the dude is not looking at her because she won't do what he... Like, it's it's like... It's almost like, um... Shit. Like, how do I... It's almost like... One of these two, and I'm thinking it's her, because she just looks like, yeah, I said that, bitch. You know, it's like, these two were just sitting somewhere. And out of nowhere, just some bullshit came up. Like, someone said, you know what, I, 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 I just don't feel these, like, I just don't, I just don't, I don't think it'll work. Or they think that this is a bad idea, or they're just stuck on something that they are seen from a very wrong perspective and then it's just like you know like they want to leave two people out in the cold in order to get a wish fulfillment but then boom the truth just came out of nowhere and sliced everybody all of a sudden there's a burden and now all of a sudden there's fighting and someone's all grumbly and all and this bitch over here is just like i said it yes i did Mhm. Mm if i could twist my neck i would you know <laughs> It's like someone, like, springs some truth on another, like, okay, yeah, group one's the one, I think, who's gonna spring the truth on group two. I'm just calling that, I'm just saying that, but it could be reversed. Oh, I never did get the, um, ending theme, did I? My bad, guys. I'm just rambling off and saying stupid shit, right? God, how long is this video? I have not checked the time. I need to. Walking away despite the fact that you feel something. Not looking at those cups that are filled, but 
only walking away because, like, it's Queen of Pentacles. And it could be you, Capricorn. I'm just saying, but it doesn't have to be. It could be role reversal or whatever. I'm really happy I'm not in this shit because this is, like, nuts, right? But it's like, this person walked away with their cup still filled, still filling something, and all of this with these two counterparts, right? But they walked away because they were too busy worrying about themselves than giving a shit about the people around them who kind of suffered around them. It's like, they, it, like it's kind of like growing, uh, like, flowers and shit. You just can't put them in the dirt and think they're going to be okay. Especially in West Virginia weather. Because that's never okay. <laughs> But it, that's what it is. It's like they didn't nurture the relationships around them, and they all just got sick and dwindled off. Like, too busy, like, it, like turning their backs to their emotions just to get that pinnacle. Um, it turns out to bite somebody in the ass. But, that's what I got for you, Capricorns. That's your bonus. If you guys enjoyed this reading, like, you're well, more than welcome to like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. I love you all, and you guys take it easy. Bye-bye.